Welcome back. Joining us in studio is someone who's going to be taking over a very important institution in our community, Central Pacific Bank. He's currently president and will be taking on the CEO title as well soon, Arnold Martinez. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Gina, very much. That's right. So you're up for a very exciting transition coming up soon. Tell us about your, your plans and your ambitions for that. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the opportunity to serve as a CEO of Central Pacific Bank. Uh, you know, I've been there almost 19 years. It really is home for me, and uh, and I'm just uh, uh, so humbled that I can work side by side with my fellow employees to continue the tradition of you know exceptional service to our customers, and of course, just continue to support the community. Well, and that bank has always been a beacon for uh, local people, local businesses, and, and successful careers for the professionals who work there. And people from the Big Island might find you particularly inspiring. Born and raised in Pawilo, Honoka'a High. Tell I, us about I, your I background. Did. I don't know if you even know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> Never blink your eyes. But yeah, it's a really small community in Pawilo. You know, I grew up uh, during the time of the sugar plantation. Uh, so it was, I, I, it was kind of the last inning of the sugar plantation. Uh, and so it was a wonderful place to grow up. Uh, it was, uh, you know, an, uh, a place where everybody knew each other and everybody took care of each other. And uh, a lot of those values of helping each other and working with each other and trying to do good things uh, stays with me today and really is part of my, how I look at leadership and how definitely I'm going to be uh, leading Central Pacific Bank. Well, that's very inspiring and inspiring to come from that. Went on to University of Hawaii, Manoa, mm -hmm. for your business degree mm -hmm. as well. So again, local education through and through to those out there who are watching and, and may find that local story inspiring, um, but maybe intimidated by a career mm -hmm. in finance. What do you want to say to kids out there and students who are thinking about it but not sure their next steps? Sure. I, you know, I, I'd say that uh, you know, in anything in life, uh, you, you have to try something. You have to be willing to stick your neck out uh, and, and work hard. Uh, uh, and uh, ultimately, it, you will know if it's the right thing that uh, you want to do because it's going to make your heart sing. You know, you have to be passionate about something in order to be good at something. And so I would say to the young people uh, that find, you know, don't be afraid to explore, uh, but, but find eventually the thing that makes your heart sing. And I'm sure they'll be very successful. Now, for you, you were sharing with me that one of your passions was small business. Helping small businesses is where you began your career with the bank. And then the pandemic struck. Mm -hmm. And you were able to help them immeasurably. Is that one of your proudest moments? Tell me about that, what, what you folks did at CPB. Yeah, no, it certainly was a, a really uh, proud moment. Uh, it's not just what we did to support the small business, and we did over $870 million in loans and helped over, you know, I think 11,000 small businesses in the state. But what was most rewarding uh, and just heartwarming for me was how our staff came together 24-7 uh, uh, to be able to execute on this and to support those businesses and to support our community. So i um, really proud to be part of that effort and proud to have been part of uh, the team that really came together and, and accomplished some really wonderful things on behalf of uh, you know, the, the people of Hawaii. It's really remarkable to be the conduit to almost a billion dollars in relief programs. Mm -hmm. Was well, there anything else you'd like the people of Hawaii to know about the bank, about yourself, and about the future for CPV? No, I, I, I just uh, want to say thanks again for allowing me to be here, Gina. I appreciate it. And, you know, I'd just say that, uh, you know, they can count on, on us to continue to do good things, uh, you know, for our customers, but also for the broader community. So we look forward to continuing, uh, you know, our responsibility in the community uh, and, uh, and, you know, look forward to some great things in the future. All right, best sure. wishes to you and thank you for thanks joining Thanks so much, us. Gina. All right. And we'll send it back to you.